Hey guys, it's Mommy and Critique with Latrice and Nia. Today we'll be doing Trick Dilly's Tacos in Centerton, Arkansas. <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> okay, so we went to Trick Dilly's um, because I went out and visited a friend one day um, and I saw them over there. Well, actually, it was, I saw another restaurant. And when I tried to look up and see what their restaurant was, Trick Deli's popped up. And so I was like, oh, let's try them out. Um, not quite sure how long they've been there. Um, but I, of course, I, I, I just went to go try them out. We needed to find another place and expand our horizons. So we started going out towards Centerton because Centerton is growing people. That it, Every day something else is popping up over there. So they are really growing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there was more um, restaurants that would be popping up soon. Didn't know that they were a taco place. I just saw Trick Dillies. And so I was, and when I looked them up, I saw that they had what they were. And so I was like, oh, okay. Um, they didn't have normal tacos. Like it wasn't just a taqueria where you just get normal beef or a steak or chicken tacos. Like they actually made some different type of tacos. They were cool. So we walked in and um, of course it looks like one of those typical pop-up restaurants um with the mismatch uh seats and it was quirky a counter yeah it, at this point it, it looks just like almost all the other restaurants that we usually go into it wasn't anything that was very standoutish about it um so we went to the the register and they had a menu that you can go and look at it's pretty it's a decent sized menu but it wasn't to the point where you got overwhelmed so we were easy it was easy to study and learn what we wanted to do so we started off with our appetizers you order everything all at once but what what did you get for your appetizer i got the queso fries i believe um i didn't like them that much I'm not gonna lie, they were kind of nasty. They weren't really crispy or seasoned well. All the queso was at the bottom, and then there was just some goat cheese like sprinkled on the top. Like, not, you know, it wasn't it. I and so lie. I actually tasted the fries. So the fries on top were pretty crispy or were nice. Um, it was the fries on the bottom that didn't taste too well uh, because they were soaking, they're sitting in the, the cheese and the cheese had got a little bit hard um, or cold. Um, but for the most part, I, I like the ones that were on top, the fries that were on top, they tasted okay, but I didn't want to get full off of the fries because it was a shareable portion. Like it was big enough that you could share with another person. Um, so I, it wasn't too, nothing too fancy about them. They were curly fries. Um, so if you want curly fries, there you can go there and get some. Um, and other than that, yeah, there wasn't much. Um, for me, I got the fried corn um chili fried corn that's what it was called and i didn't know what i was getting i just heard corn and, and it had the click and it, yeah so i was like mm, try that out come find out it's just an elote y'all like <laughs> it, was, it had, came with a fried corn on the cob it had chili on it and then it had cheese on it and then they came with a lime on it and i loved it like I don't know if um, you typically fry the elote. Um, I think they steam those, or they boil them, or they do it. They cook them a different way. So the fried corn was really good. Um, it had a lot of chili flavor on there. The entire corn was coated in that flavor, um, and then the cheese, the cheese on top, and the lime sauce just set it off. So I would definitely go back and get the corn. Uh, actually. Like if I wanted elote, I, 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 that's that would be a place I would go to. Hmm. Um, if I didn't want to go to the other place, like I have two places now that I could get elote, and I'm excited about this. The fruit area. Oh. Yeah. So, moving on to our tacos, we both each got one taco. Um, they do have come in a nice. A pretty full taco um if you had if you didn't get a share bowl you probably could get two tacos and beef it'd be a decent sized meal but we got sides and the taco so that that was enough for us um did we talk about drinks 
Not yet. Okay, let's talk about the drinks. So back it up before we talked about tacos, we both ordered um, fountain drinks or soda. Didn't know that they were just the, out of the fountain. They have stubborn soda. Not quite sure where that comes from, but it has some really neat. Um, it seemed to be like that places thing. Yeah, and so because they had a, the whole um, menu next to the cash register of what sodas they were offering. I'm not quite sure if those sodas change throughout the week or the month or. From the way she was talking, I think they might have. And just the way that the menu looked yeah, on it, it like looked like they like can rip it off, off and, and put it yeah, on. yeah. So that day when we went, they had the. It was like I got the aged vanilla. It was like a root beer sort of, but uh, fancier. It's like agave vanilla cream soda, um, and then I got the pineapple cream soda. The stubborn, um, both were delicious, like addictive. So you drink the whole drink before your food cup comes, after, cup after cup. and you going back for seconds. It was delicious. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed the the sodas. And like I said, I don't know if Stubborn is a local brand or if it's their brand or if it's coming from a brewery. Um, they were pretty proud that they had Stubborn um, soda. So anybody know about it? Let us know. We we Drop just a comment. <laughs> look at her being look. <laughs> We were just enjoying the food. So, with that being said, we um, then moved on to our tacos. And, Nia, what did you get? Don't mind our neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, checking the mail. Uh, I got the fried mushroom and pork, right? It was pork. Uh -huh. I got the fried mushroom and pork taco. And it had fried mushrooms, obviously, pork, obviously. And then I had... I think arugula. It had something leafy and green on it. And then goat cheese. And I think I'm missing something, but I think that was about it's it. It's like onion. Oh, yeah. Fried, fried onion. On top. Yeah. It was so good. The mushrooms and the pork, the fried mushrooms, they were like a really good combination together. And like the mushrooms alone were so good. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure they have a taco by themselves of it. And I think if we were to go again, I'd probably get that and get two instead of the side fries. Me too. <laughs> I I didn't get to taste the pork, but she let me taste the mushroom. I love her. She does. Or do I love getting food? Probably that. <laughs> but <laughs> the fried mushrooms was delicious. Like, yeah, I would definitely go back and just get the fried mushroom taco if they had one by itself. I didn't, I'm not, check the menu. I'm pretty sure I could ask. Can I get the pork and mushroom without the pork? <laughs> like, uh, add mushroom, add pull extra, the pork. Add extra mushrooms, you know. It's like, you know, that's like half the taco, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just fill it up with mushrooms. Thanks. Um, so, yeah, the mushrooms were delicious. They were crispy on the outside, but then they still had the nice softness on the inside. And they were flavorful. It's like eating vegan food. It had pork in it. But if you take the pork out, then it was a vegan. Is a is a shell vegan though? If you did corn, yeah. But I didn't do corn. Yeah, she had flour. So, um, I got the brisket, um, brisket taco on a uh, corn flour of uh, corn tortillas. Um, it came with brisket. It had um, arugula on it as well. And then it had some like cooked onions in it. Um, the brisket, the, it was a decent size um, taco. Once I got through the sauce, that the sauce was like sitting on top of the brisket and sitting on top of the taco. And like once I actually started getting into the meat of the taco um the sauce kind of went away so i went and tried their um sweet barbecue sauce uh and it was oh yeah i think decent. i got the taco sauce too it tasted like hot sauce but not as spicy yeah uh, it wasn't nothing to rave about but it was just something that i could put some some juice to my taco because the brisket was kind of 
on the dry side uh you know i'm a brisket snob and so <laughs> it was a little dry um but i added sauce to it and i was able to enjoy the rest of my taco uh for once usually i don't like arugula but i the combination of the taco and the brisket and yeah i i actually I ate the arugula my pearls. yeah and then anything else they got arugula on i'm picking it off nope nope i don't want it i don't want it but for this one i i, I actually she ate the whole it. thing i don't know if it was because i was hungry or if it the brisket the flavor of the brisket actually just toned down the arugula maybe both maybe we'll both. never know but I enjoyed the taco um i would go back and get it again i just know that i would probably ask for extra sauce with that being said on a scale of one to ten <laughs> on a scale of one to ten what do you give what, what do you give i win i win dang it <laughs> i would give trick dilly a eight hmm. like if i'm over in center ten and I want some elote, I'll go over there. I'm not going to be like raving and craving. We have to go. No. I'm craving that taco. No, I'm not craving any of that. I'm not dreaming about any of it. Um, so, yeah, I will give it an eight. It's a decent restaurant to go to when, you, when you're over there. Uh, if you want a taco and it's not Taco Bell. Cause they got that over there. But if you want a, a decent taco, go to Trick Dillies. I'd give them a seven. I'm sorry, the fries were just not it. I think I'm rubbing off on y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna become mean. Do you have blush on? Yeah, I took it from my bathroom. You took my blush? I think it was a blush. It was something. Oh, Jesus. Anyways. So with that being said, Wait, you just not realize that. Yeah, I just realized it. Oh yeah. Anyways, <laughs> go. Well, you started, so I was like, is she gonna try and do this time? We switch your roles oh, okay. now. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our three avenues of social media, which is Yelp, YouTube, YouTube, mm -hmm, YouTube. Facebook and Instagram. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, get the notification, comment, and share, people. Share. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Peace. Mine's better. <laughs>